and welcome back to the walking veterinary oh wait uh walking dead and uh we had a, a shot the uh, unplanned break at the last one um i am using the software bondicam and it's unregistered and it allows only 10 minutes of footage so i always have to look out for the record time and um i hope you forgive me if uh if that happens sometime but i will try to not cut out anything of the game so you will see everything and let's go right into the conversation she no, asked me if we used to i was let go a little while back oh, that's too still bad. a teacher well i hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster people don't want to die ignorant i guess <laughs> I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You gotta do what I'm you gotta do. Anymore. I do want survive. to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Okay. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Duck might be not this unscarred. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, how's Clementine? Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's trying to be a dad, huh? Okay, we should help out Herschel, it said. And it's really the veterinar uh, veterinarian... What the fuck? Veterinar veterinarian Herschel in The Walking Dead episode uh, season 2. And I hope we don't get into more lies or into more bendings of truth in this conversation. Because I think he pretty mistrusts us right now. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Yeah, that's right. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Yeah, I want to go back and to Now you've got this little city. girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Oh, dude. Now it's coming. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What? Tractor? Go! I'll get my gun! Ah, uh, where's the boy? I know it! Doc, what did you do? Oh my god. I know it! That is trouble! Okay, save the guy. I'm sorry, boy. I'm really sorry, but. He's for the boy. I, got you. I bet they will. 
they will mob me for this decision and you might be mobbing me for this decision but I'd rather have strong hands oh no no it was in vain no fuck <laughs> Boom! Headshot! Going to the knee. He's fucking precise with this gun. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. Oh fuck. We'll stitch you up. It almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. Get away from this body, mind you. Maybe, sure. maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, like I said, um, I'd rather have a strong hand with me. Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't look. get to be sorry. Look. You tried to help him. But this piece of shit let him die. Yeah, whose fault is it that he died? It's nobody's fault. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. Wait until it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Of course, I knew that uh, his son is going to uh, that get to make rescued by wants. his father. So. <laughs> okay, let's get going. I wonder which city that is. It's not Bacon City. There would be no liquor stores. There would be bacon stores all around the place. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Too close. Okay, I guess the gas went out. We need to find <laughs> gas. Okay, some one. Hey there! One. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Shut up. It's a zombie! Oh, Fuck! Idiot. And there we go. There we go. In the middle of the city. What? Who's this? <gasps> Don't say the cap. I know it. <laughs> we can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What about the boy? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you are. <sighs> in a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a fuck. Oh um, my god, is going on. War zone. And before we make this decision, <laughs> we're gonna end the episode here. <laughs> so I have a second longer to decide uh, what to do now.
because she's a leader and I don't know if I should trust her. So, see you next episode.